Welcome to The Topic, where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. Spring is here, and that means it's festival season here in the city of Houston. HCC is no exception, as the annual spring fling at the Southwest College is upon us. Catherine DeMond joins us on The Topic. Tell us more. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, the spring fling, what is the purpose, and what, what is it all about? The Spring Fling is really about our students. Okay. Um, it's a, an opportunity for them to celebrate spring, uh, to come outdoors, to enjoy each other's time, and to really just get a reprieve from all the academic stress in the classroom, to enjoy each other's company, network, talk to faculty, staff, other students, and kind of unwind before finals at the end of the right. semester. Now this is, you mentioned going outdoors. Is this a festival? You know, it's the great time of year to be outside. Yes. So you guys a lot of, have a lot of events planned outdoors? We sure do. We will have have food trucks, we'll mm -hmm. have all kinds of fun snacks, everything on a stick, just right, like at right, the rodeo. Yeah. We'll have lots of games, events, competitions, prizes, giveaways. Mm -hmm. So it's it's going to be a really great event and it's going to all be outdoors at our West Loop campus and then another one actually at our Stafford campus at the Southwest College. So you'll have it for, the Southwest College is spread out over a gazillion miles. It, it like, sure like is. 380 <laughs> square miles to be exact, I believe. <laughs> so you guys have several campuses and you're celebrating on the two of the main ones, I suppose, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. We're celebrating uh, at the West Loop campus on April 5th okay. and at the Stafford campus on April 12th. The West Loop campus is celebrating rodeo style right? and then the Stafford campus decided to do a luau theme. So we're excited. The students are really excited. It's just going to be a really great chance for them to unwind and, you know, just relieve some stress before it gets really crazy at the end of the semester. And it's about to do that because, uh, you know, spring break is uh, over now and, is. and people are getting back into the swing of things slowly, but this gives them an opportunity to at least get outside and uh, fellowship with some other students out there as well. Yes, absolutely. We're also pushing for students to be more aware of the early registration process too. Okay. Uh, spring, uh, excuse me, summer and fall right. registration yeah. will open up in the next couple of weeks, so we're really encouraging them to get registered for their summer and fall classes so that they'll be all set uh, when they leave for the summer um, or take a quick break before they start their summer classes. So it's right. kind of a one-two punch um, to allow them to have some fun but also take care of some of that um, uh, nitty-gritty stuff, those details, uh, so they're all ready before they come back in the fall. Now, the spring fling, is there a cost for students? Do they have to register for this? Can they just show up? They can just show up. Okay. Um, there's no cost. It's totally free to all students. Wow. Um, food is free. Sure. Events, activities are all free. Um, so it's all totally free to our students. It's just one of the things that we like to do to, you know, school is all about learning and yep. academics, but we want to make sure that they're having fun while they're doing that as well. And so they could go get a bite to eat, play a few games, yep. meet some new friends. Yeah, and, absolutely. Know, catch so up if with they, old ones. Yeah, if they mm -hmm. have a break in between classes, it's going to be from about 11.30 to 1 o'clock okay. on both dates. Um, so we, we plan that so that it would be around their lunch hour so most of them have a little bit of a break there so they can do just that, um, get a little reprieve from their classes, but um, still be on campus if they right. have afternoon classes as well. One thing too, this is brought to make awareness to the Fort Bend Diaper Bank That's and it's correct. benefiting. How are you guys helping them and what are they, uh, how are they involved? We're partnering with the Fort Bend Diaper right. Bank and we're doing a diaper drive actually that's going on right now. So we're looking for diapers for infants and newborns as well as adult and elderly so that we can benefit all ages. That's going on through April 5th. Mm -hmm. um, we have drop-off locations at all five of our campuses. And so y'all been did this a couple of years in a row, we right? We have, yeah. we have, and it's been such a great turnout. Uh, we have a lot of students that get involved, a lot right. of staff and faculty who donate. And the Fort uh, Bend Diaper Bank has been really great in partnering with us, and they've been very appreciative of all the donations, especially this time of year going into hurricane season. Yeah, yeah. Um, you never know. With Harvey last year, it was a wonderful, great turnout out that we had we had a lot of donations, so we were right. able to donate for those victims of Harvey as well. Well, it's a great cause. It's a, it's a fun event. If you'd like to visit the Spring Fling at HCC Southwest, it takes place April 5th at the West Loop Campus and a week later, April the 12th at the Stafford Campus. For The Topic on HCC-TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.